In honor of Jim Lang's passing at 81 years, I am going to talk about the retrospective game show Bullseye. Most people do not know about this game show because this game show lasted from 1980 to 1982. I watched rare retrospective game shows since I was a child. And I know rare retrospective game shows since I was a child. There are two players in the main game. The player in control selects one of the two random categories with period point values, one point to five points, to be placed in the pot for each correct answer. And there is a random contract of how many correct answers, one, two, three, four, five, or bullseye. After each correct answer with the bullseye contract, the player in control may choose the following strategies. Strategy 1, continuing control with a new category with a new period point value and with a new contract. Or strategy 2, continuing control with the same category with the same period point value and with the bullseye contract. You are not allowed to take the pot during the bullseye contract unless the pot has enough period points to add to your period point total to sum to the period objective. If a player misses a question, the opponent can steal control by answering the same question correctly with the same time limit. After the contract number of correct answers is complete, the player who completed the contract may choose the following strategies. Strategy 1, taking the pot to your total period score by passing control to the opponent with a new category, with a new period point value, and with a new contract. Or, strategy two, leaving the pot alone by continuing control with a new category, with a new period point value and with a new contract. The player who reaches the objective number of period points 20 to 100 according to temporary rule wins the period. I have thoughts about the main game. There should be brain puzzles like Sudoku like scavenger hunt, like memory find, and like permutation memory instead of trivia questions because most trivia is not absolute. But because there is absolute trivia like mathematics and I am terrible with reading trivia questions aloud. Thank you very much people who complain about my reading. If a player does not solve the puzzle on time, the opponent can steal control by completing the same puzzle on time with the same time limit and with the correct parts from the player who had first dibs on the same puzzle. To speed up during the contract number, the contract number becomes the multiplication factor by the period point value to complete the contract with 
one puzzle and the rules to the bullseye contract stay the same. In order not to make the period boring, there should be a consecutive number 3 to 20 of incorrect answers from each player to end the period. And temporary rule 1, the player who has the most period points wins the period. Or temporary rule 2, the period is a draw. To prevent selfishness, the contestant is limited to be champion up to five times. Part two will continue next.